everybody, this is Spiraling Helix. Welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the bonus round. In this episode, we are going to look at my top favorite soundtracks from Jack and Daxter, which is going to be interesting. Now, the basic rules, these are my top 10 favorites from least favorite to most favorite. But I will be giving bonus points to various titles in the bottom right, as you can see. Just to give you a bit of an idea how I think the songs sound objectively. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Well, that's a familiar sight, seeing that for the third time now. The title screen, otherwise known as Sand Over Village. This one actually has so many variations. A lot of the Jack and Daxter soundtracks have many variations. Because of that, they, are, tend, they tend to be quite basic. Now, this one is so low because I hear it so often. It actually drives me insane sometimes. But it is probably the most iconic song from the game. And it's because of that, well, I kind of have to leave it in the top 10 at least. And right next to Sandover Village, probably the first place that you would explore, or second, Sentinel Beach. Isn't it just so peaceful? It sounds like a luxury 8 star holiday resort where you just lie on the beach all day and do absolutely nothing, just chilling on a sun chair. It is the most chill piece of music I've ever heard in a game. And we come to the inside of a volcano, although it doesn't sound like that, which is interesting. No, the volcanic crater very much sounds like a pit stop. You just got out of extreme dangers, you know, flying through the mountain pass with giant explosions. And this, it's a time to relax before you go into even worse danger. It fits perfectly. It's got that little bit of mechanical noises there. It's got a pretty cool bass tune too. Thank you. 
And here we come to the Forbidden Jungle, probably one of the one of my least favorite places being the Forbidden Jungle. But the temple itself, the soundtrack isn't as scary as the Forbidden Jungle makes a thing. It makes a sound like you get to explore some old mysterious ruins with this crazy newfangled technology. It kind of makes me feel a little bit like Indiana Jones. Maybe not as much blood pumping, but more just exploration, which I love in a 3D platform. Okay, you can tell I'm ducking around the Forbidden Jungle theme as we're still in the Forbidden Jungle. No, this is the Fisherman's theme, which I think is just a very under expected soundtrack. You only hear it in this brief little area and it just sounds so cool, especially with the little accordion thing that plays in the background. And you'll notice it has a fair amount of low scores. That's just because, well, I don't really feel too much about this game's soundtrack, but the scores are based on how they fit in the games, not overall. So that's why you'll still see some high hitters later on. Oh no, I knew this would come. The Spider Caves, my by far, bar none, least favorite place in the game. But there is one good thing about it, and that is the soundtrack. It is so good. It is such a tight soundtrack. It fits so well. And out of all the soundtracks in this game, apart from the title screen, this one is the one I remember the most, but not for bad reasons. This soundtrack is so good, it keeps you on edge, but it doesn't frighten you away like the Forbidden Jungle. It makes you want to keep exploring, even though it's facing your fears. And we have 
the mid boss right in the middle of the list because that's just how it works I guess we have claw this is an awesome mid boss especially considering the game only has three bosses in total but this is an awesome mid boss and this track gets you pumping it makes it so that even if you die to the darn insta kill lava from the boulders you want to go right back in there and fight him again till he's down it's a shame that you only hear this once although you do get to hear it in the credits if you don't skip it like I always do. Right after the claw fight kicks off, I don't care that the claw fight theme goes away because the mountain pass is so much better, oh my goodness. I almost talked my microphone because man this soundtrack is so good, it gets you pumping, boss fight's done, but we're not done with the adventure yet. We need to keep moving, keep going right now. It feels like you're racing through the mountains. And for once, the Zuma soundtrack is actually good and not hidden away by the 20 explosions you hear in Fire Canyon and the Lava Tube. No, this one is awesome. Those mechanical sounds, you know exactly where this is. Girl and Myers Citadel, the final area of the game. And can I just say, what an interesting soundtrack. I kind of like it when they mess around with the soundtracks of the game. And again, this is one of the most iconic soundtracks of this game. Probably like one of the three only soundtracks anyone remembers. This particular version, it technically only plays when you're near Samos, but that's technically whenever you're not near the other sages or in those other rooms. This full version is what I remember, and it does some weird things by changing the tempo of different instruments while keeping everything else the same. It's just so crazy, but it makes you feel uneasy. It makes you feel... We're coming up to the final boss. We're almost there. If you thought I was going to play the final boss theme here, you were so wrong. The snowy mountain, as always, the icy area takes it away with the wind. Unlike Twilight Princess, because that kind of sucked. But we're back at it again. The best theme of the game, oh, okay, the, my favourite theme, it's always got to be the icy place. In particular, I am playing a variation here. I'm playing the Lurker Fort variation because of those cool bass lines. Now, the main theme across the whole place probably would only be about a five or four. 
but with those bass lines playing in, it is just so much better. And with that guys, I hope you enjoyed my favourite 10 soundtracks of Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. And I do actually have some other top 10 soundtracks. I do one for each LP. Uh, or oh, I try to. Mario Galaxy don't have one. But hey, that's just how it is. See you guys next time everybody. This has been Spiraling Helix. Bye bye.